Hey again, buddy. Sean from Cappy's Cards. Back with you today with just some random retail and other stuff that I uh, happened to find today while I was in Lafayette, Indiana. I played golf in West Lafayette there at the Purdue courses. And if you're a golfer and uh, you like uh, just happen to find yourself in West Lafayette, Indiana for some reason or nearby, maybe driving down 65 there or something, uh, definitely make the stop. Probably my some two of my favorite courses in the state, to be honest with you, uh, you know. A little frustrating round today, but still, uh, I always love the condition there. The courses are a lot of fun. A couple peat dye courses and stuff, and they're rebuilding their clubhouse and all kinds of things like that. But worth the time. Then after that, I had to make a couple of, uh, you know, shopping stops and stuff. So obviously, first stop, I went to Target, and I finally found Topps Chrome Platinum. I had not seen that on any of the shelves nearby my house here on the other side of Indianapolis. So definitely grab that, and I grabbed a hanger box of uh, 2024 Series 2. Hadn't seen any of them either. They actually did have a couple of blasters, and they had the big value box too, but just grab that at this time. And then I ventured into Walmart because I forgot something at Target. So um, they happened to have a box of Panini Contenders uh, football cards. So we'll open that too. I don't think I've opened that at all. There's an autograph for a mem card on average per box, right? But... Uh, you know, we'll see what's in here. I don't think, I really don't think I've opened this. So that's why I went ahead and grabbed that. And then I stopped in an antique, what, is it an antique mall, flea market? I don't know what they call it. They call it sell it here or something like that. And I had bought a little bit there before. And they happen to have this sitting on one of the shelves for three bucks, as you can see. So I uh, figured we'll see what's in here. And we can start with that, with the uh, random Gypsy Queen 22. And to be honest with you, when I buy in bulk and stuff like that, I don't get a lot of 22 Gypsy Queen. I get a lot of like 20 or 21 Gypsy Queen, but uh, usually not a lot of 22 Gypsy Queen. And it kind of has this, as you can see here, I, I always think of it as like a airport or a, you know, a train station sort of lettering and stuff on here of the way this looks at the bottom. But at least go through it. It says it's just base cards, but we'll take a look at them. And see if there's anything hiding in here at all. So there's the Yastrzemski, Chapman, Simeon, Hira, you know, Machado. I'll just run through it quick here. Aaron Judge is a nice one for base cards. And just highlight the stars as we come through. Mookie Betts. All of these, of course, you know, the cards in here, unless there's some Mets I don't have. Uh, we'll wind up in the Etsy shop. There's the link, right? If you're not a subscriber to the channel, I do these videos every once in a while, a couple of times, you know, a week sometimes. Things like that. My last video, I hit that Shohei rookie again out of uh, one of those Target mystery boxes. I don't know if I have that Marte. I'm going to set that aside. He got hurt again today. So hopefully he'll be okay. If I'm going through this and I miss anything... Please yell at me. I mean, there's rookie cards and stuff like that. Josiah Gray. Low. Jose Abreu. But hey, for three bucks, you know, this is definitely the best find at this place. If you're a starting lineup collector, <laughs> they had uh, Ken Griffey Jr. starting lineups. One was a 93 Ken Griffey Jr. Somebody was trying to sell for $250. One was a 94 Ken Griffey Jr. Somebody was trying to sell for $300. Which, you know, I've, I've mentioned before, I probably got well over a thousand starting lineups. And, um, you know, that, that, those are just laughably awful prices. There's <laughs> just no other way to put it. And, uh, you know, the other cards and stuff, there are a few different vendors with singles. This person had some singles as well. It was kind of tucked in the, like, back corner of the place. I did get a... Uh, uh, McFarlane for my PC uh, with Julius Jones and the Cowboys. I didn't have that. It was on Nimmo as a card for me uh, that, you know, I just never got over the years and it was on 20% off. So, okay, eight bucks. I'll take it. It was listed at 10. So, uh, and then this three. So it was a nice little purchase there worth my time. I, I had bought a little bit there before. In fact, I had bought some like Shohei. I bought some, someone made handmade clothes there. I purchased from my daughter and stuff like that. So I had checked that out. It's DeGrom. But, uh, I mean, they, they seem to have a lot of, it, it's a very clean 
uh, flea market, antique shop, whatever you want to call it, antique mall, Lonzo. This is a nice box for me for three bucks. Spencer Strider rookie. So, yeah, different cards I usually get. India, Conforto, hitting all the Mets that I PC. Um, Chris Bryant, Bo Bichette. Yeah, I do not PC Escobar, so you can stay there. But, hey, it's not bad for three bucks. And it's the, you know, different than some of the kind of stuff I find usually, like I said, especially at antique malls and things uh, nearby. Though the, still got that big football card pile that I'm going to start going through here sometime next week. Uh, looking for those videos on the channel. I'm putting this out today as soon as I'm done videotaping it here. Uh, it's a Saturday. And uh, then I will put out the 24 Series 2 box that I actually filmed a few days ago. But when I hit the Otani rookie, I bumped it. And I'm going to bump it to while well, I'm doing a little travel over the next few days. I'll set it up to go through and, you know, pop out at some point And it'll be there. So 23 Tops Chrome Platinum. First time, of course, I've seen other people do this. And... Other people have been, again, like the 24 Series 2. People have been pulling stuff out of these. So uh, let's see what we get here. Walker Bueller, Schwerber, Tom Seaver. Going right again to a PC card. So that's cool. And Walner for the Twins. As I'm traveling, a quick trip to the East Coast and back. Uh, I will make some stops right there along I-70. We got something shiny in here. Garcia, Rondon, Campanella. I'm going to pull Perez out of the back here and set these down. And let's go from here. It's a Dodger. Uh, or is that a Royal? The, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Bobby Witt Jr. In sort of a shiny design. Is that numbered? Yeah. Uh, I did not look. Let me grab the blaster box real quick. Let me move these out of the way too. What are we looking for in here? Uh, so three bonus Prism Refractor cards per box. That's probably one of them. So that is probably that. But what else do we got here? Classic 54 design. And nothing else I know. So, uh, you know, let's see what else we find. Ah, uh, Rucker. Canerco. Oh, I got another, oh, I got a numbered one here. Um, that is Bow Nailer. Let me get... Fujinami out of here real quick. But bow nailer, the yellow, I like that tops design. You see the in the background there of the card, tops. That is uh, 14 of 499. Nice low number. Bow nailer of the Guardians. And you know what? I have that was the next team I was gonna build the, the packs of. So this is gonna wind up right in the packs, probably later tonight or tomorrow, over in my Etsy shop. Of course, the uh, Guardians over there in the Etsy shop, I can't call them the Indians, right? Uh, you know, or I can't show Chief Wahoo, or I am, you know, blacklisted. So, uh, Mullins, Ott, Trammel, Sable. It's a nice shiny refractor there on Alan Trammel, right? Compare. So, it's not numbered or anything, but that's cool. Alan Trammel, refractory. I'll put that down. See if it catches some light as we're going along here. What else can we find? Jose Abreu is an Astro. It's an Astros pack with Verlander behind him. Ernie Banks. Gio Urshela. Three more to go. Kershaw. Pache. Mo. Hope I got another one that hits here. So let's get Michael Massey out of here in the back. Let's see what we got here. We know it's a Dodger. I kind of flashed it. Is that Max Muncy? Yeah. So the same design as the Bobby Witt here, just in an orange color. Not numbered. The number was on the front of the other one, so we probably know. Max Muncy. The teams that I finished, right, I've got, looking over there, seven teams of baseball left to go. Like I said, the... Guardians are one of them, right? But uh, you know, the White Sox are one. I got another 
shiny card there. So we have Cunha hiding back here. That's cool. So who's hiding behind Frank Thomas in the blue? Is that another Royal? Can't tell who that is. Vinny Pasquatino. That'd be why. Rookie card in the blue, Vinny Pasquatino. Not numbered, but nice blue shimmered side design there. Let me put that right here under Bo Naylor. And we'll hit our last pack. What do you think of these? I've seen, like I said, other folks pull some neat stuff. Lindor is going to my PC. But uh, Bobby Clemente, Roberto Clemente. Why do I call him Bobby? Uh, Jermaine Palacios and Kerry Carpenter to wrap this up. You can see the Palacios again is the refractor. I got two refractor uh, uh, tigers there. And you know what? That's a team I haven't done yet. They're going to find their way into the packs too. So um, the other ones that I, like I said, the other 23 teams that I've done, uh, you know, I'm going to go and do the football update before I go back through and update them again. I don't have enough to make, you know, even one pack for most of them anyway. So is the hanger a banger again right, with the uh, 24 Series 2 here? I'm going to start with Jackson Wolf, the wrong Pirates, uh, you know, rookie card here of a pitcher, though I don't think Skinnis is in this, is he? If he is, tell me down in the comments. Uh, where are they? Maybe I'll hit him. Who knows? <laughs> Hendricks, Stanton, Teoscar Hernandez having a hell of a year, De Jong, uh, Waldachuk, Casas, Rocchio. Talkman, Peraza, BB, we got backwards, Akil Badu. I don't know why it was backwards. It's at a, I'm guessing is 173. No, that's not, it's just randomly backwards. <laughs> I thought that might be a photo variation. Maybe that was why it's backwards, but the serial numbers line up. So, so much for that. Uh, McGill, I do not PC. Took the loss today. Gunnar Henderson, gold cup card. Tyrone Taylor is a Met, Chapman, Jung Ho Lee, uh, Butler, Fairchild, Reese Hoskins is a Brewer already, Sal Frank, that's a hell of a name, Hap, Joey Wendell, Brantley, Trevor Story, Robles, and Baltimore Brotherhood, that's, uh, was that Henderson and Rutschman? Yeah, uh, and you got the battery mates there. We saw them before, or I saw it when I opened the other things. I should say a lot of is that four Phillies in a row. Oh, there's a, a Padre in there, right? But four to five cards are Phillies. <laughs> um, so the home run card, right? Home run challenge card is Matt Olson. Just put that there. I'm gonna mix it eventually. Covering the field with Bobby Witt. So it's, you know, showing how he has a dispersion, I guess, of his hits and things like that all over the field. That's neat. I like the Rutschman 89 all-star design. That's really cool. Put him right here. And then I got a couple of backwards things here and stuff. So let's do this. Uh, so here is Rafaela, Machado, Kershaw, and Frank. I got to pull a Sal Freelick in a modern thing, don't I? That or a Oriole named Wells. But here's Ellie De La Cruz, fantasy favorites. That's hot. An Ellie De La Cruz rookie insert. I can handle that. Um, very nice card. With the little eight there. It's going to wind up eventually in a pack. So let me get two yellows. I bet that was probably promised on the box somewhere. Harrison and Herrera. Not teams that you want in yellow. They don't match very well. But <laughs> um, they're at least there. I should put those down. They're at least there. So let's do that. And let's crack open the Contenders football box. So like I said, the football cards are what I'll be updating here mid-late next week. I'll start doing that. There'll be videos of the massive pile of football cards that I was able to purchase a couple weeks ago. Just haven't got to them yet. It's also one eBay box, sorry, the football cards that I have to uh, probably do a video of as well. So we've got five packs of contenders here. And I'm going to move the Mets over here out of the way. The Cowboys that I PC will find their way into that pile too. So football season, what are we about? 
five weeks from training camp opening up. So this is my first time seeing Panini Contenders for 23. Uh, you know, standard design for them, you know, with the way it is, the ticket look, right? A little bit more poppy with the name this time, probably a slightly smaller picture and, you know, this making it look like a ticket down here. But, um, you know, pretty typical there with Mechie, Harris, Kirk Cousins, as still as a Viking. Uh, it's Lamar. And Nick Bolton. Lockett. Here's a draft class of Jackson Smith and the Jigba. It's nice. And we get Clayton Toon and Sean Clifford. Oh, man. Uh, round five. So let's start a football card pile here. What are we looking for in here? Anything in particular? Oh, yeah, that autograph card, right? Or inserts or parallels on average per box. Seven. Uh, if any of those... Maybe that last card was an insert. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Aiden Hutchinson. Jones. Claypool. Uh, Joey Bosa. Felt thick for some reason. Dotson. Uh, Dalton Schultz. Nick Chubb and Eli Manning draft class on the back. Something different. Eli Manning. Draft class, of course, drafted by the Chargers, um, but then dealt for Philip Rivers, right? Justin Jefferson, Kyle Hamilton, Harrison Butker, of course, getting a lot of attention in the media for no reason. Geno Smith, uh, Russell Wilson, Michael Thomas. Uh, I don't know if that's red, a red thing there for Sam Howell. And rookie Stallions, Will Levis. Look at the horse. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to set that down. Rookie Stallions. <laughs> Interesting insert, I guess. Something. Uh, Miles Sanders. Derwin James. Uh, Brian Robinson. Kenny Pickett. So they, Miles Garrett. They must have made these before a lot of the signings and stuff. Harrison Smith. Justin Tucker. And then a... Deuce Vaughn and Parker Washington, round six running backs card. Yeah, they must have printed these, you know, I guess because they're still 23 cards. Maybe they didn't want to update the, uh, you know, to the new teams and stuff yet. Trevor Lawrence, Metcalf, Sertan, Jamal Williams. These are more annoying than Upper Deck. Bryce Young, Max Crosby. And, oh, I got a cowboy. That's going to the PC. Uh, Luke Schoonmaker, a little napkin relic there. What's on the back? Yeah, Bryce Young. No. Hopefully he can bounce back a little bit this year for the sake of card value. <laughs> uh, no other reason since I'm not a Panthers fan. But, yeah, that's, that's going to wind up in my PC. Uh, Luke Schoonmaker. Is it numbered? Probably not. Uh, relic card. So it promised a... Promised an auto or a relic, a mem card, and that's what we got, a little napkin memorabilia relic. So um, I'm touching a Cowboys uniform. Oh, my. Probably not. It's probably not a game used or anything, right? Closed memorabilia is not from any specific game or event. Yeah, of course. So the backup tight end for the Cowboys <laughs> is going to wind up there in the PC. But, you know, they're fun rips, right? And getting the uh, nice little Gypsy Queen pile as well there to sort of look through and a few out for myself and uh, mix them into the packs as well. So uh, I've got a nice numbered card here out of the uh, Topps Chrome Platinum too. So what was your favorite of these that I ripped and uh, have you ripped any of these as well for yourself? Let us know down in the comments, right? And if you're not a subscriber, you know, I, like I said, I do these sorts of things where I purchase either retail or off antique malls or eBay or anything like that. And uh, all that stuff winds up in the Etsy shop. I covered up the link, but it's in the description of the video. So you can check that out, and uh, I'll talk to you again in a few days. We'll see you in the shop.